So, as I'm recording this, Lynx is finally, finally back in the shop, right next to Fall in Love Ranger Jonesy. If you want to know a little bit more about Fall in Love Ranger Jonesy, I'm actually going to link my Anti Cuddle Sarah loadout because, you know, he was a part of that, somewhat interesting, and he's also just great for energy in general, uh, but not exactly what everybody's talking about. Lynx Cassandra is back in the game. Everybody's favorite cat hero in the game. So Lynx is kind of an easy topic. I'm going to try to make this video short and I'm just going to give you a few suggestions because the video title, and I haven't titled it yet, is basically around the idea of what is Lynx good for and that's not hard to explain. She increases your damage by 140% during hover. So you can kunai in this game. It throws down a bunch of shurikens down onto the ground and it, you know, kills stuff below you. But with Lynx, she provides the hang time of ability bonus where she obviously buffs your damage while you're up there and then in the support i get ventura ramirez because that's totally what i clicked on you get the 40 percent damage so it's not as much i i wouldn't seriously consider running links too much in the support if you're running a kunai build link in the description she could be nice but you're going to be spamming that one so much that you might not even want the hover so it's not exactly uh, the best in support in my opinion. She's definitely a solid hero in the lead, so let's give a couple of examples as to why that is. So what we've got here is exactly my normal soldier build. This is what I use on almost every game that I play. I've usually got Rescue Trooper Ramirez in here, buffing my damage by the 50%, but with Kunai in the lead, I could just swap it out and my damage goes up tremendously whenever I use it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, you're not gonna see Lynx a lot as people's main heroes in games, simply because her bonus only lasts for 4 seconds every 15 seconds when you can pop the kunai so it's not really going to be always active but it's mostly usable against miss monsters mini bosses and smashers i didn't get any smash or mini boss gameplay in this in this video but it's not really important because you can tell that it's just going to do a ton of damage it's going to melt a smasher like whenever you see a smasher that's basically what i save kunai for and i don't use her a ton in the lead because of that like whenever you're not shooting a smasher or actively in kunai it's kind of a dead commander perk so unless you're using kunai you're not really doing any extra damage and that's where a couple of these other loadouts come into play so so this is my Storm King loadout. I'll link that in the description below because it's a huge, huge, like, what Lynx is best for. And I'm only going to touch on that to say that, like, when you pop that Kunai ability, Crystals and the rest of the Storm King becomes very, very easy. Way more on that in that video below. But with the Happy Holidays loadout, you can actually reduce your cooldown to about 9 seconds per Kunai. And when you factor in the fact that you're up there for 4 seconds, you're really essentially waiting for 5 seconds between Kunai, which is pretty good. Happy Holidays makes this a very spammable loadout. I've thrown on Assault Damage, Crit Damage, Locked and reload. I've just buffed my damage as far as I could go here. Uh, assault ammo recovery is a personal preference, and coconuts is great for survivability. This is just an example. There is no best loadout for Lynx. A lot of people were asking me for that, and I will honestly say that she is pretty much good for buffing anything. Hell, you could buff your pickaxe damage tremendously, which might not be useful against a tree, but if you're breaking down metal that you might have misplaced or whatever, and you happen to be running Lynx, that's kind of good for breaking down a base. No reason to run a hero as your commander, but it's kind of just to go to show that she is a very, very, very well-rounded character. So if you don't have her, always grab her. Always grab every hero that comes to the shop, every weapon, because you don't know what they're going to change. But for Lynx, you, you never know when you might come into needing a ninja. And of course, running a ninja as you leave, you're going to have that extra Soaring Mantis jump. You know, you get double jump, which is fantastic for mobility. And then, of course, just to give another example, if you use Totally Rocking Out, as many people are going to bring up, I'm using exactly what you see here, and then it just does a lot of extra damage. It's almost overkill against these normal zombies. Like, I wanted to just get some gameplay, but I don't think this is necessary. These zombies didn't deserve this. I mean, if you're going against a smasher or a mini boss, I totally understand it. Pop into the air, eat a wafer, and enjoy your, at that point, like, two seconds of mega damage. Uh, that might be kind of not worth it, and I totally understand why that wouldn't be worth it, but it's definitely something that you can do just to show how strong Lynx can be. So, if you don't have Lynx, try her out. She's a very old hero at this point, tried and true, one of the very first heroes that I really enjoyed when the hero rework came, just because that 140% damage bonus, I mean, damage doesn't stack the way you'd think, some other bonuses get in the way and they don't stack as well as they should, so effectively that works out to be double damage more often than not, but still, amazing damage, and the fact that you can just summon it at any time, like, it's not like activating Totally Rocking Out, where you need to get a certain amount of kills, or get a fumbled football, or heavy attack elimination, 
I don't have to eat a subway for to summon this. I just need to click a button, jump in the air, and for four short seconds, it doesn't last that long, you are doing crazy extra damage, which, like I said, in the Storm King is a perfect opportunity. However, in a normal mission, it's not something I use all the time, but she's definitely a great option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little rundown on Lynx and what she's good for. I, I try to make this pretty short, even though she's a very, very powerful hero that's extremely well-rounded, but if I talked about every single way that she was useful, I would be talking forever. And, you know, just to tell you exactly what she's good for, how to make her ability a little bit more useful, hopefully we'll give you guys the tools to use her more appropriately yourself. Of course, if you guys have any great builds with links, let me know in the comments below. Give some people some loadouts to try, because this is an amazing hero that I think everybody should try to enjoy. 3,200 gold is a lot, so I'm going to tack on just a little bit of information at the end here on how to get gold, because I understand that not everybody plays as much as I do and has 45,000 gold laying around. Some of you have zero gold, and the best way to get gold, truthfully, would have been dungeons, but they took it out of the game and then added nothing. So, no doubt, whatever the next event is, is likely going to give you lots of gold, so any of these rewards that give you gold will probably be very very helpful of course since i don't have any of those challenges i can't show you daily quests are great you get about 240 gold a piece that's extremely useful i mean that i can go towards links very well but honestly end game twine if you're absolutely just grinding gold a fight the storm mission is an eight minute defense and you can start that atlas mission as soon as you get a single bit of blue glow so if you're speed running fight the storm you're only going to have like nine minutes in the mission if you're going fast so nine minutes in a twine mission where that's giving you like 150 gold and if you have a mini boss i think that gives you an extra 50 so if you don't up the difficulty this could be as much as about 200 gold per run that's not so bad if you want to run that 16 times just spam the atlas for two three four hours and you should be able to afford whatever hero in the shop now i personally recommend obviously if you have the means and the time just play the game a lot if you hang out in high-end twine kind of like we do you're gonna get plenty of gold i know a lot of people might also recommend just running endurance a ton which i mean you could that's a way to get gold afk if you're set up for that um and also helping people with their storm shield defenses will get you plenty of mini llamas i don't think i have any to open for you guys but mini llamas are perfectly good for gold and then also a good way to get it so i hope that helps you guys out unfortunately i don't have any gold farm to recommend i don't think there's any insanely easy way like i would like to think that anybody who knows how to afk endurance doesn't need this information anyway but you know maybe that'll give some of you guys something to work towards and if you can't get into high twine just cue the highest power level mission you can and try to run it as much as you can so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought in the comments below like the video you know subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day